In this video, I'll show you how to switch or migrate from your current booking system to Servoy. One of the quickest ways to get familiarized with our system is by starting the free trial and then going through the quick setup guide, which is a five minute video. I'll include the link for that video in the description and I recommend looking at that video and going through the steps and that will get you familiarized with our system very quickly. It's important to set up your room types and units because you won't be able to import bookings unless you've created your units first. Also, if you plan on connecting with booking.com, there's no need to import that because when you set up the connection with booking.com, all of those bookings will be imported automatically. To get started with importing, go to settings, then go to your account, and then go to import bookings. Now all you need to do is type in the check-in date, the check-out date, put in the room number, the number of guests, the price per night, and the first name. For the check-in date, you'll always want to make sure that the format is correct. So this is the correct format with the year first, then a dash, a two-digit figure for the month, in this case the month of June, and a two-digit figure for the date, in this case the 10th of June. And similarly, you'll want to use the same format for the checkout. Then you put the room number, and of course you want to have a room number that's already existing in our system. Enter the number of guests, make sure that the number of guests doesn't exceed the number of guests allowed for that particular unit. Put the price per night and put the first name. In case you wanted to add more people, you can just hit the plus button and this will give you the option of adding in multiple bookings. I'll delete these for now. I'll finish up this sample booking. After entering all the fields, I'll click on validate to make sure that everything is entered correctly. And here it indicates that it is validated and ready for import. I can click on continue editing to keep on changing certain details. Or after validating, I can just click on import to actually import that into our system. I'm going to do that. I'll see that the booking has been created here. And I can click here to actually go to that booking. And of course I can add more details by clicking on any of the edit buttons here. In case you have many bookings to import, another option is to upload a CSV file. In a CSV file, you'll want to make sure that you have these fields. Room number, check-in, check-out, number of guests, price per night, first name, and those are the required fields. There's actually also some other optional fields, and I'll include one optional field here, which is the last name. You'll want to make sure that the first row is written out exactly the same as indicated in our article on our support page. After that, continue to write in the other details, such as the room number, the check-in and check-out date in the same format as we mentioned earlier, the number of guests, the price per night, the first name, and in this case, the last name, because that's an extra column that we're using. In this example, I'm using Google Sheets, but you can do the same thing with whatever spreadsheet software that you like, such as Numbers or Excel. In Google Sheets, I'll click on File, then I'll go to Download, and I'll download it as a comma-separated value. Now I can go back into Servoy and click on Upload CSV File. I uploaded the file that I just made before, and it seems mostly good to go, but there's one error here. It seems like I mistakenly put the check-in date and the checkout date in the reverse order. Whenever you see an error, you'll see a small red X here. Those are things that must be changed in order to make sure that the import goes in correctly. So I'll go ahead and click on that and change this to 03 and change this one to 06. I'll click on validate and now I'll see that everything has been corrected and it's validated and ready for import. I can also use this switch here if I wanted to add the surcharges. 
There's no way to add surcharges at the actual time of creating the CSV file, so you can simply add surcharges here by switching this on. You'll need to make sure that your surcharges have been set up under Settings, Payments and Invoicing, Surcharges. Next, and lastly, all I need to do is click on Import to import all these bookings. And there you have it, all the bookings were successfully imported, and I can go to them by clicking on the button here for any of these bookings. Alternatively, I can just go to the Bookings tab, and I can see those bookings right here. And I'll always be able to access them from the Bookings tab. After importing your bookings, you may be interested in getting connected with booking channels such as Booking.com and Expedia. The instructions for how to connect with Booking.com are included in the description below, and the process is very similar for Expedia. After you follow these steps of starting the free trial, going through all the steps in the quick 5-minute setup video, importing your bookings, and setting up with booking channels if that's what you want, you're well on your way to being completely immersed in our system and understanding it completely. In case you have any questions about the details of our system or its functionality, feel free to reach out to us in the chat. You can always see it in the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching.